Hello readers, today we are working on retelling the story. So in order to retell a story, we need to think about the story elements. So we're going to think about the setting, the character, is there a problem, solution, where does that happen, does it happen in the beginning, the middle, or the end? Okay, so let's get ready. Before we get started, let's take a look at these sentence starters or questions that will help us to write an good retelling. First, we start with, I read the book. That's where we put the title. It's very important. Who or what was the story about? That's where we'll talk about the characters and maybe if there's a little problem or what they're doing. And then we'll give some more details about what happened in the story. We'll think about what happened in the beginning, the middle, and the end. Okay, let's revisit the book Swim For It. We'll just take a little picture walk today. So, Elephant and his friends are going to the pool, Pig jumps in, and then Cow jumps in, and then it's Elephant's turn, he gets up there, and what happens? He gets a little scared, right? Because he climbs all the way up to tippy tippy top, but then he climbs back down. So his friends are saying, come on, get in, get in. So he gets up to the top again, he closes his eyes, he holds his trunk, and he jumps. He splashes down in the water, and then what happened? They have to go find another pool because elephant splashed all the water out. Oh my, what a silly book. Okay, let's take a look. What was the title of this book? Do you remember? Swim for it. And because it's a title, we always underline so important. Who or what was the story about? So who are the characters? Elephant and his friend, right? His friends go to the pool. So here we just talked about the character, Elephant and his friends, and we talked about the setting. They go to the pool. Okay, so now let's talk about what happened in the beginning, middle, and end. In the beginning, what happened? Who jumped in? Pig and cow, right? Pig and cow jumped into the water. Then what happened in the middle? Elephants, right? It was his turn to climb up. He climbed to the top of what? The ladder. But he got scared. And what, how did he get in the water? His friend said, come on, get in, get in. His friends told him to try again. So he did. So then what happened in the end? Do you remember? He jumped in and what? All the water came out. Elephant jumped in and splashed all the water out of the pool. Oh my. Okay, let's reread this. I read the book, Swim For It. Elephant and his friends go to the pool. In the beginning, pig and cow jumped into the water. Elephant climbed to the ladder. Oh, that doesn't make sense. Climbed what? Up the ladder. But got scared. His friends told him to try again. So he did. Elephant jumped in and splashed all the water out of the pool. What do you think? Is that a good retelling? Do we talk about the characters, the setting, the beginning, middle, and end? Yes, we did. So that is a good retelling. So when you go off today, I want you to find a book that you've read before. And I want you to use this chart and see if you can give a retelling like what we just did. 
Remember, always start with the title of the book. Okay, go off and give it a try. Off you go.